Hi, I'm Pastor Julian, and welcome to Central's Devotion for today. We're going to look at Philippians chapter 4, verses 5 to 7. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Right now, we live in a time of, of great uncertainty. We're hearing mixed messages from people, and it's confusing. We're hearing mixed messages about COVID and, uh, and uh, how long we're going to be in these stay-at-home orders and, um, and when businesses can open up and, and, and we can um, meet like we used to. And so we just don't know what's going to happen at this point. We have to, to, to lean on God. And this passage helps give gives some perspective because we're not just dealing with the COVID crisis. We're dealing with the regular everyday stuff um, in the midst of the COVID crisis. We're losing patience, perhaps, with family members and loved ones. Uh, we might be grieving. Um, we might be going through personal anguish over uh, something that's happened. Uh, whatever it might be, I believe that this passage is going to help guide us in the right direction. The Lord is at hand. See, the Lord is always here. He's always there with you. And he doesn't just disappear and go away. He's, he's there. He's by your side. Especially those who believe in him, he's there in a very special way. And uh, even if you don't feel him with you, even though your prayers might not be getting answered the way that you had hoped, um, he is there. He is always there. And we need to be aware that the Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything. Well, that's easier said than done. I think if all of us had a switch that we could turn on and off with anxiety, it would be switched off all the time. We would just switch it off. Uh, it's, it's not easy not to be anxious. Anxiety is something that comes upon us, and, um, and the Apostle Paul is well aware of that, but he's not just telling us to turn off a switch. He's giving us some guidance with how to move on from our anxiety, which is in everything, by prayer and supplication. In everything, we should be connecting with God in prayer, in conversation with him. Um, by prayer and supplication. Supplication is uh, humbling yourself, getting down on your knees, uh, worshiping, uh, making yourself um, surrender to God and his will. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So with thanksgiving, you're supposed to let your requests be made known to God. Thanksgiving, even if, uh, even if the world is crumbling around you to find something to be thankful for and lift your requests up to him whatever they may be um, we might feel like we don't have our prayers answered the way we want to have our prayers answered uh, that might be the case that we aren't getting our prayers answered the way we would like them to be answered I know uh, a lot of us <laughs> a lot of us are praying for the same things right now and we haven't seen a lot of progress uh, but we just need to keep praying. We need to keep praying and, and be thankful and be thankful. Find those things in our lives to be thankful for, um, even in the worst case, people can find something to be thankful for and be thankful to God for it. And so when you do this, it doesn't say the requests are going to be Granted, it doesn't say God's going to grant all those requests that you make um, when you when you ask them in thanksgiving. No, what it says is, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This peace of God that surpasses all understanding. See, what we understand is we're going through a bunch of junk right now in this world. We are going through, many of us are going through some real trials and tribulations in our lives. Um, and very real stuff, very visceral things happening in our lives. 
and and we need to th those things we understand. Um, we understand the, the, the but there is this peace that defies defies understanding. Even though we're in, in this trouble, understanding is oh we're going to receive this pain. It's going to be um, unsettling all the time. We're going to be we're going to be upset. We're going to be anxious. But instead, um, this th this is what God's giving us. Not necessarily our request, but He's giving us this peace that surpasses that understanding, and and we need to receive that peace. And God will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. That's why we continue to go to God in prayer, laying everything at his feet, acknowledging that he is in control. There's nothing that we can do. It's in his court now to do with what he wishes so that his will is done. And we are here as his humble servants, ready to do what it is that he's called us to do, uh, but knowing that we have Christ Jesus and we have that eternal security that he's called us to um, when he gave his life on the cross and he brought us to him and 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 we can find thanksgiving we can find thanksgiving in that and peace knowing that he is in control of everything and 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 wanting to receive that peace at this time i pray that each and every one of you receives the peace of god which surpasses all understanding, and that he guards your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God bless you, and have a good day.